Stephen Zoot for Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. And welcome to April 2019 and another video in our continuing series of educational support for beauty and barber professionals. Thanks for tuning in and spending a little bit of time for us today. You know, we took a dip in the mailbag and a common question, more than once, more than one of you, many people are frequently asking the question, hey, Ivan, hey, Jatai, have you got some help for us on raising prices? And I am such a passionate advocate on behalf of you and you and you and every beauty and barber professional with the need to talk about and provide support and assistance in raising prices. When I'm done in this industry, when it's time to retire, when I'm going to be passing the torch of what I do in this industry on to the next generation of beauty and barber professionals, I would love it if my legacy was that I was remembered for advocating for price increases for beauty industry professionals. Haircuts are just not expensive enough. Everything else goes up. The rent goes up, the cars go up, college tuition goes up, groceries go up, gasoline goes up, and haircuts just have not kept pace with the economy. Several years ago, almost a decade I think, I began a campaign that I call July 1, Raise Your Haircut Prices Day in the USA. I firmly believe that July 1 is a date and a time around which all of us in the industry can rally and gather and all raise together. A rising tide lifts all ships. I love that idea. If we all go up and we all go up together, we all go up. Everyone makes more money and the whole industry is raised and uplifted as a whole. July 1. And people say, Ivan, why July 1? I think July 1 is the perfect day for a haircut price increase and I'll tell you why. I don't like January 1. People are tapped out from the holidays, budgets are tight, money is scarce. Not a good day. I don't like April 1. Tax day is looming, people are hyper-focused on what everything costs, and it's just not a good time to start talking about paying more. I don't like August 1st, and I don't like September 1st. That's the heart of the back-to-school season, with books and shoes and back-to-school haircuts and everything else. People's budgets are stretched so thin, and I don't like November 1st, and I don't like December 1st. I think if you raise your prices ahead of the holidays, you come off looking as though you are gouging or taking advantage of what everyone knows and understands to be the beauty and barber business's high traffic season. I love July 1. People are having summer fun, they're away on vacation, they're fully distracted. But I'm not talking about pulling a fast one on anybody. I'm talking about simply raising the price on July 1st, and when clients begin to come back after the holiday break and after the summer, the new price is posted, the new price is up, and we charge. My couple of quick tips, I'm not going to be able to go into the kind of detail I do. I teach two and three hour classes on the subject of raising haircut prices. So here in a simple Jatai Academy video, we cannot hope to comprehensively address all of what there is. And that is why I want to personally invite you to reach out to me at ivanzoot.com, that's my website, use the contact feature if you and I need to have a personal one-on-one -on -one coaching conversation. This is a service I provide. This is what I do in the beauty industry. I help people raise their prices and make more money, and I want you to do just that. My couple of quick tips or tricks with regards to this, we talked about July 1. Don't post a sign. That little sign on the mirror, attention customers, as of this date, my price is going up. No other industry in the world posts signs in advance of a price increase. Why our industry has the lack of self-confidence and the lack of self-esteem such that we feel we need to do that, I will never understand. No signs. Number two, no notice. You just wake up one morning, get a Nike t-shirt with a big swoosh on the front that says just do it and just do it. No notice, no signs, no conversation, no discussion. Raise the price. And no apologies. Please don't make excuses for why the price is going up. I'm raising my price because my costs are going up. I'm raising my price because my rent is going up. I'm raising my price because it's been three years since I raised my price. Those are all lame, whining, and complaining excuses. Nobody likes a whiner. Nobody likes a complainer. Nobody likes anybody loaded with a bucket full of lame excuses. Stand up straight and tall, speak clearly, look people in the eye, and confidently quote a higher price. If you were 20, 
now you're 22. We go up 10%. That's a nice round number. And last on the list of important tips and tricks when it comes to price increases, do it again. If you do it once, do it again. Do it every year on July 1st. A little bit every year. Don't wait five years and try to add five bucks. Go up 10% a year every single year. And just like savings accounts and 401ks and investments, the compounding value of 10% over time will drive your price up, increase your revenue, and allow you to earn a better living and live a better life. And that's what the game is all about. I'm Ivan Zoot for Jatai Academy. You can find me online at ivanzoot.com. You can find much more of this online at jatai.net on the web. And a reminder, of course, Nashville, the end of the month, 28-29. Jatai is going to be at a show down there. We've got a host of specials, texturizing blades on deal, the R-Type Blades on special in the three-pack. The standard freestyle razors are on sale in the three-pack. All at Jatai.net on the web through the end of the month through 430. And of course, 15% off this month also on Switchblade Shears. We try to provide you with the world's greatest tools. And through at Jatai Academy, we try to provide you with the world's greatest educational support and information. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. And thank you for letting me and Jatai help you build and grow your business. Have a great day. <music>